everybody, I'm Olivia. I'm one of the developer advocates here at TomTom, Tom, and today we're going to talk to you about how to use the Map Styler. Today, we're going to be talking about TomTom's newly released Map Styler tool. This tool allows us to change the appearance of maps across varying applications and platforms by changing the color schema, data, and other shapes to our preferences. Maps are great, so this styler has a ton of uses, as maps have proliferated in tangent to our modern explosion of location-aware devices. 80% of mobile applications use location-based services, making location an essential part of our lives. However, there is one catch. Most mapping services only use their default map style, which may or may not be easy to read. TomTom's first maps weren't complex, and were thus easy to read. Over the decades, we developed increasingly minute map features, until there were over 900 layers. Additionally, different types of applications require different kinds of map services. Emergency systems require different uses than those for parking, which in turn are different than creating HD maps for autonomous vehicles. Which brings us back to the Map Styler. Here, you can change the colors of different map aspects across numerous layers and zoom levels without any knowledge of code. It's pretty simple. The map styler lives on TomTom's developer portal. You can find it by heading to the documentation tab at the top of the home page, clicking on it, and then clicking on the styler tool underneath. By default, a map with the initial style will be loaded, and if you're not logged into your developer portal account, you'll be prompted for your API key. When you navigate to the page, you'll find we have three main panels. Leftmost is the list of current layers we can style with TomTom Tom map data, middle is info we can modify from that selected layer, and third is the visualization of the current map. By default, we have created seven different predetermined styles so users can easily make some initial adjustments, such as changing to this light-colored style. Let's start with the basic theme. The premise of the tool is very simple. First, you select the layer to modify at the left. Let's say we want to make an edit at this zoom level, level 8 in Salt Lake City. Say we want to change the lake color first by clicking on the body of water to select the layer. We realize here that this is a filled polygon filled with this color blue. We can change it with the color picker, so we'll change it to this darker blue. You can see how easy it is to change this color. It's equally easy to change every other layer, such as the background. You want to think of the map as a canvas, largely ruled by the background. Every other layer is superimposed on top of it via the order indicated on the leftmost panel. Looking at some of these lower layer levels, we realize we can quickly change a construction area's color. Note that when simply clicking on the map to make edits, you touch several superimposed layers at once, which is why several fields pop up on your click. Here, we select the golf area and change it to a green shade. And when you're done editing your map, go to Export Menu Item to download the current style so you can use it in your own applications. There is much more to modify other than color, from shapes to data representation. You can extrude polygons from the fill layers, such as here where we edit 3D buildings from TomTom Data. That's a basic primer on the map styler. We invite you to visit our developer portal to see what else you can build. We'd love to see your creations. Add them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that like button and happy mapping!